It's Friday the 13th. Uh, it's, it's, this video is coming out on Friday the 13th. So happy Friday the 13th, everyone. Happy birthday, Michael. He never made it to his party. No. There's a character in this name, Michael. And it, it was, was his, his birthday, birthday today. today. It's very sad. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. That was the only memorable thing about this movie. Uh, Carrie was the name of this movie. Um, no. It's about it's about a psychic named Carrie, and uh, no. she does some stuff. No, it's it's about Tina. It's about Tina. Who's Tina? <laughs> Carrie. Oh, all right. Okay. So, like, I was reading, like, apparently they were trying to get Freddy in this movie. Uh-huh. But then, like, things fell through with New Line Cinema. So then they started over and just had, like, a psychic girl in there. But she is just Carrie. Really? She's just... Or Matilda, if you prefer, but... Whichever She's... way it goes, it's basically Carrie. Yeah. And she has premonitions about what's happening in the future and, you know, whatever okay. else goes on in the She plot. sees, like, one guy's death. She has premonitions about one guy's death. No, it's like two or three. <laughs> but I that's mean, still a pretty low batting average. Like, 15 people died. Yeah. Give well, or take. Well, I mean, to be honest, if you saw the last movie, this is the last movie. And the movie before that. And the movie before that, it just has a psycho, a psychic in it. It also has a psycho, but it just has a... Part 6 was at least funny. Yeah. Like, this I one they tried to make actually dramatic, and I don't think it paid off in their favor at all. Yeah, no, I thought they were going to try to keep the goofy tone. Because the next one's called Jason Takes Manhattan. Is it really? Yes. This is, this is news to me. It's got it's got a picture of Jason's mask superimposed over over New York City. Oh man, that's gonna be fun. Hopefully. Anyway, hopefully. I mean, what else is there to say about this movie? It sucks. Yeah, I mean, it's just boring. Like we we had a hard time staying engaged to the movie. We were we were on our phones for like. A good majority of it. There was nothing that really kept my interest about it. I mean, it's far from, like, the worst. It's up there. I'd say it's top two. Really? Yeah. The worst in the series so far, yeah. Nah, I definitely liked it better than two and three. Three was funny in parts, and it was it, it had a lot of camp about the, the 3D. Yeah. So that was fun. Like, two was just boring. Ooh, look at the 3D. Two was kind of lame. Yeah, I would say that two sucks the most, and then this one is a is a close second. No, nah, five. Five is by far the worst. Is it? I don't actually remember what happened in five. It was the one without Jason. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we watched that like two days ago. What an impression it made. It's okay, the series forgot it happened, too. <laughs> I mean, there's no mention of, of what happened last movie. This could easily have come at any point in the timeline. It doesn't matter. It just it just happens. Well, it starts with Jason drowned in the lake, just like he was in the last movie. Okay, but that's like a minor thing for the whole plot. This could have come at any point in the timeline, and it wouldn't have made a single difference. Yeah, that's fair. It's... I, yeah, I mean, there's really not a whole lot to say about it. Yeah. The new blood in this movie doesn't really deliver a whole lot. There's no gore. I mean, the other, the other movies... Yeah, the get, violence is considerably toned down. I, I think, you know, had it, had it not for, been for the boobs, you probably could have gotten away with the PG-13. I don't a know. hard PG thirteen. There was, so. uh, there might have been just enough violence to push it into R. But Jesus Christ, it's, it's by an, far the most tame of the series. Yeah. There's there's no interesting kills. Jason doesn't even throw somebody through a window in this one, and that's been like a staple of the series. <laughs> Believe it or not, it's Hold like on. there was one interesting kill. I don't remember what it was, though. It, was it the one with the buzzsaw weed whacker? No, 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 no. 
No, oh, the girl in the sleeping bag. He just like grabs oh, the sleeping yeah, bag and funny. throws it against the tree. So he gets in the tent and she's like, "Oh, I'll well, just go under the covers and it'll be okay." And he just picks up the, the sleeping bag and put. That was funny. That was funny. That was funny. There were most of the laughs were at the beginning, though. Yeah, there were a handful of laughs. Not like last movie. I li- no. I missed last movie. Last movie was good. I really liked part six. So I think from here on in, we're gonna be doing silly Jason movies for the rest of the series. That's what I think. Hopefully. Hopefully, I I would really enjoy that. Okay, the next one is named after a Muppet movie. So, that one will probably be pretty silly. I don't and know how well Jason Goes to Hell is going to be. And then there's... there's Jason the, X. Jason X. That is, the, that is the carrot on a stick for the series. <laughs> That's what's getting me to the end right now. And then the remake. And then Freddy vs. Jason. Well, yes, also Freddy vs. Jason. Yeah, I mean... That doesn't... It doesn't really make sense. Yeah, we'll talk about it when it gets to Freddy vs. Jason. Yeah, we will. That's how that's how boring this movie was. We can't even talk about it. We have to talk about the other movies in the series just so that we can have a full episode. Oh, happy Friday the thirteenth. Yeah. Uh God, it's Happy birthday, Michael. It's sort of weird to me that people consider Friday the thirteenth unlucky. Because it just makes me think of the movies, and I like the movies. Well, I mean, you can see how bad the movies get. Yeah. That's why it's unlucky. It's not because 13 is an unlucky number. It's because the series is just bad, for the most part. There's one good movie. One one good movie, one ironically good movie. I, I think 6 was an intentional comedy. Was it? Yeah. Like, there's enough there that makes me go, this was intentional. Okay. Two good movies. Out of seven. That's not even passing. Plus four was, like, kind of funny. But only ironically. Yeah. So, it doesn't count. See, so, right. yeah, we, ha- we still have to talk about other movies <laughs> during this review. Yeah. I've seen worse. This month. Yeah. But that's not saying much. That's all. Bye-bye. Happy birthday, Michael.